Marlo Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What do I have going on for you for today? Oh my word, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I found some really great new holiday finds. There's not a lot, but there are some really cool ones that I haven't ever seen at Dollar Tree in previous Christmas seasons that I'm really excited about this year. These are items that I most definitely can see incorporating into some upcoming DIYs so easily because of what they are. I'm excited to bring them to you. Today's Dollar Tree haul is short and sweet, but they were items that I was really excited about that I wanted to show to you. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you some of the great new finds that you should keep your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree. First up, we've got a nine foot berry garland with red berries. This is a twine that has a brown paper wrapped around it with these red berries. I could be wrong, but I tell you, I don't think I've ever seen this in previous years at the Dollar Tree. We've got some with white berries, and lastly, I also found it with some gold berries. There really is a color to suit every decor style. I am really excited about these because I've got a DIY that I'm doing today using these. How about these patch pins? This is another find that I have never seen at any of the Dollar Trees in my local area for previous Christmas seasons, a snowman and a snow globe. Now these are meant to make a sweater or put on a sweater, but of course I'm not gonna use them for that. Found it with a candy cane and a Christmas tree. How fun are these? I picked up one of each of these. We've got a stocking in Santa here, another stocking with a wreath patch. By the way, have you checked out my DIY wreath ornament from last night? If you haven't, I'll link it in the description box below. These patches are adorable. Not sure how I'm gonna incorporate them into a DIY, but you can bet I'll figure out a way. Again, this is another item that I don't recall ever seeing around Christmas time at Dollar Tree. Snow spray in the can, you're getting a two ounce bottle for a dollar. What a fun way to decorate your outdoor windows with this snow spray and some of Dollar Tree's Christmas stencils when they get them in. Yes, I am showing you tissue paper. Would you look at how stinking gorgeous this paper is? This poinsettia, Christmas trees, it's got kind of an iridescent, shimmery background, and the image itself is a matted image. Loved it. Loved this holly berry and leaves. Saw these and knew exactly what I wanted to do with them in a DIY. Last year, I did a DIY using the Red Truck Christmas bags. I loved them. So many of you love that DIY. Found this white truck Christmas bag and this barn. Last year's DIY was using these corrugated sheets that you can get at Walmart. It comes in a two pack. These are $10. So many of you told me you couldn't find them for $10. My Dollar Tree has them in stock now. This is what you gotta look for. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below as well. Oh my word. Wouldn't affect reading glasses. These may not be for some, but these are definitely for me. Would you look at these? These reading glasses look like wood. I love these. They come in this dark brown, a maple, this kind of marbled black and white. Does Dollar Tree have the best quality glasses? I'd probably have to go with not, but when you see glasses like this, I am a person who has my reading glasses everywhere. You can never have too many reading glasses, and these are wood, I had to have them. You might wanna keep your eye open for these. 
Some of the things that I'm sure you've seen in other hauls that you can expect to be seeing in some of my upcoming DIYs. I picked up six of these mason jar plaques. These are a thicker plaque. They're about an inch thick. These will be in an upcoming, I would say winter DIY, not Christmas. If there's one thing that I really love at Dollar Tree, it's their berries. They always have the best berries. Berries are expensive this time of year. When you go to Walmart, you're gonna pay about $6 for a good bunch of them. These burgundy and these cream colored berries are so easy to incorporate into Christmas DIYs. So they're definitely something you might wanna pick up and keep in your stash. In my last Halloween paper crafting DIY, I was telling you all that Allie wouldn't be going trick or treating, but we were putting our own twist on it. And our twist is using these treat bags. I picked up four packs of these that I will be filling with my own candy and I'm gonna be placing them throughout our neighborhood so Allie can put on her costume and go trick-or-treating with a twist. I know Dollar Tree has always carried awesome brand Oxygen. This is an all-purpose spot remover and it works amazing. It's supposed to be a generic brand of OxyClean. I personally don't see a difference. I have bought OxyClean at Costco and I pay about 20 bucks for it. But one time I just decided I was gonna try the Oxygen Cleaner by Awesome at Dollar Tree and I tell ya, it works just as well. So if you're one who uses OxyClean, you might wanna give this a try. I think it's pretty safe to say that my favorite find this trip is definitely that berry garland on the twine. Now, like I said, I could be wrong and this could be something that has been at Dollar Trees in previous years, but just never came to the ones in my area. But this is the first time I've ever seen them and I live at the Dollar Tree. And so I'm super excited that you can get a nine foot berry garland on twine for a dollar. Not just in one color, but three colors. That is awesome. For those patches, not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but they're super cute. Maybe I'll put them on a sweater. Maybe I'll incorporate them into a DIY. I'm not sure, but I think that they're a great find nonetheless. And so I picked up one of each of those. I hope you all enjoyed some of the finds that I found today. I kept it short and sweet and quick because I was just really excited about some of these items. Now, if you found anything that interests you in today's new finds from the Dollar Tree, you most definitely are gonna wanna try and keep your eye open for them at your local Dollar Trees because it's one of those things that sometimes when they're gone, they're gone. And so you gotta get them while the getting is good. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes, because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and bye for now. Everybody.